Hello, I'm here to demonstrate how my SSD application is working. So this is just the testing phase. We don't have a real gateway to test it with. Yeah, so let's let's get started. This is the code. Yeah, all oh, this is the code. It's actually 70% complete. Okay, so first off, these values can change variables actually according to the gateway we're going to use so we need to get out of the gateway documentation for that yeah and um, when we go live the get method is actually going to change to the post yeah so that's one thing you should note but for the purposes of testing we have to keep it get we have to say get yeah yeah so this way we'll be fetching values from query strings in our API testing software and that piece of software is Postman client if I even launch Postman client this server has to run I mean the, the, the application has to run from a PHP server PHP capable server and I'm using ZAMP, which is Apache server in it, and MySQL database, and tons of more stuff. So, my database is up and running, it's there. So, Apache, MySQL, then, um, yeah. So, let me launch Postman client. So, Postman client is the guy right here. So, yeah, it's there. So let's give it a second to launch. Oh, there it is. So I'm just going to close this. So my server is up and running. So first things first, let me show you something interesting here. So I'm just going to get rid of this. And when I do the send, it's going to query for the application. Yeah, so you could see something like notice. Yeah, this notice. So these are the variables which are going to come from the gateway because we don't have a gateway. They may show something like this. They'll show something like this, but we can get rid of this and trick the application to think as if uh, we have a real gateway. So we are just going to provide some placeholder values. So what we do is we add some query strings. So these are the query strings. So ms msisdn is the phone number of the user, which is the string right there. Yeah. Then the app ID is the application ID with which we're going to register it with. So it's that in there. Session ID. Session ID is also going to be auto-generated by the gateway itself. Yeah, service code is the DAO code that we DAO on the DAO pad. So in this case, it's star one two three percent twenty three means hash new URL encoding. So yeah, so once we supply these values, these notices are going to go away. So let's see what's going to happen if we. Yeah, so now this is how the the USSD application is going to look. Now the con is also going to depend on the gateway which we will be using because con means continuous session. So if if the gateway we're going to be using is we will be able to recognize con, then con won't show. It will start from welcome and the rest of the text right there. So let's try to go under register. First, so now register is option two. So to simulate user response we have to change some url patterns here so from the text is equal to two that would mean the user has chosen option two so when i hit enter it's going to show something like visit uh, moyolife.com register to register since this up you won't be able to register from this application i haven't put that functionality here yeah, but if need be, I can add that functionality as well. So let's go back here and go to the home page. 
So let's go to login now. If we go to login, login is option one. So the user would respond with one. So it send and it would bring them to this login portal where they have to log in as a client, agent, or partner. I've removed admin login here because you know the admins need to access this from a computer or something. So let's choose client login one. So we are going to separate the user input with star one. I didn't have to worry about this. The gateway is going to take care of this. So this would just mean that the user has now chosen option one on the second page. Or third, I think. No second. Okay. So now enter your username or ID. So the username could be something like test. Yeah, hit enter. Then the pin code. So the user would enter something like star one two three four. If it's a true password, then it would bring them to this option. So welcome user, choose an option. Now um, this would also say the name of the user. This is just a placeholder value, by the way. So let's say the user has chosen option one life insurance or something like that so if this end oh should be an error there oh I didn't put the value there sorry so one so that's what it would show if an option was not supplied so now I've now supplied an option which was life insurance I guess so yeah it's gonna show some life insurance cover details here and it would get an SMS yeah a confirmation SMS something like that so this is how this ussd application is working so we can also try another route and test it with something so it goes something like first page login and i would say one send so maybe let me try to log in as an agent so i will respond with two this time let's take me to enter agent id so agent id should be Something like agent, these are just test values. So enter password or pin code or whatever. So we say pass send, then give you some agent ID details or agent details, something like that. But this I'll add more figures here, something like that. So I guess you've seen how this USSD application is working. There's more functionality by the way because it needs to talk to a real database with real users so that's the only thing that's remaining but before I do that I would like to have a definite USSD documentation which we're going to be using so I'll put the link to the necessary uh, software which I'm using especially this API development software called Postman it's a very good API uh, testing whatever software so yeah that's it